Hello. Today, we will guide you through setting up an Akuvox account and adding devices for a villa, single house, or apartment. For this demonstration installation, the following devices will be used. 1AK E12W Video Intercom Door Station, 1AK S563 Android Indoor Monitor, and 1AK A02S Access Control Unit. Prior to installation, it is necessary to create an Akuvox installer's account, add a single-family house account, and then integrate the indoor monitor, door station, and access controller. To begin, create an Akuvox installer's account. Open any web browser and use the link that you received from Visiotech. If you did not receive a link, please contact support. Enter your company name, email address, and the dealer name should be Visiotech. Then, click Next. Accept the privacy policy and next again. Copy the letters in the image, and next. Check the details, and click on Sign Up. Open the mail from Akuvox, and use the login details. Using the link in the email, you're directed to the Akuvox installer's account, ready to sign in. Enter the username and password, and login. You will be asked to change the password when logging in for the first time. Enter again the password from the email and click on Next. Create a new password and confirm the password, then submit. You will be forced to log in again with your username and new password. Now your new account is ready to be used. Part 2 Creating a Single Family House in the Akuvox eCloud. Log in to the Akuvox eCloud with your installer's login credentials. Click on the Single Family Sites icon in the right top of the page. Now click on New to create a new end user account. Fill in the name of the new user. The name of the room that the monitor is going to be installed. Optional there is the email address. This can be very useful when the client would like to use the Akuvox Smart Plus app on a mobile device. Use the address and country location of the installation. This can be very useful of displaying the correct weather information on the monitor. Select IP call when all the devices are on the same network. When monitors, door stations, or access control units are installed on different locations, use the SIP call option. Now click on Submit, and you created a new user. The user will get an email from Akuvox with the user login and instructions to download the app on a mobile device. Part 3. Adding the Akuvox Devices For this, it can be useful to install the Akuvox Device IP Scanner. The download link for the scanner will be in the description. To add the devices, click on the little device icon below the actions. Now click on New. Important is to select the correct device type. We start to add the monitor first. Add the MAC address from the monitor. The MAC address is at the back of the monitor, or when the monitor is already connected to the network, you can also use the Akuvox IP scanner. Enter the device name. The Relay 1 and 2 are relays from the monitor itself. This we are not going to use in this demo. Now click on Submit to add the monitor. When the device is connected to the network, the device will show online within 2 or 3 minutes. When this is not the case, open the Akuvox IP scanner. Select the device, enter the username and password of the device, and click on Reset. The default username and password is Admin. Wait for the device to reboot to the default factory settings. To access the device, the same IP scanner can be used to open the device config page. Again, the default username and password to log in is Admin. In the new pop-up, 
is the option to change the password or just click on ignore. When opening the account option, we can see if the device is registered online. Go back to the Akuvoxa Cloud tab to check if the device is online. You can go back and forward or refresh the page to see if the device is online. Now we can see that the status is green and that the device is online. Now that we have added the monitor, we can add the door station. Click on the device's icon and on new. Set the device type to single tenant door phone and enter the MAC address from the door station. I will use the IP scanner to copy the MAC address. Enter the name for the door station. Keep the option to allow all users to monitor this device on Yes, so that all family members can have access via the mobile app. Give the relay a name so that it will be easier to recognize for advanced settings. In general, it is not needed to change the DTMF tone, but for this demo, we will change the tone to 8 because we will use a different number later on for the other lock, but you can use any number. Now click on Submit to add the door station. When the door station is already connected to the network, the door station will come online within two or three minutes. When the door station does not come online, there are two options. Reboot the door station or a factory reset. For this, you can use the IP scanners as well. A reset or reboot can add more minutes before the device will come online. In the meantime, you can start to add any other device as well. You do not need to wait. I will refresh the page after some minutes to check if the device is online. Now we can see that the two devices are online. Now you should be able to make a call from the door station to the monitor. When there is no mobile devices or other devices to connect, like a second monitor or door lock, the installation is ready to use. And all this in just a view of simple steps. Let's continue adding the access control units and family members. Let's add the access control unit. Click on New just like adding a monitor or door station. Now select the device type, Access Control. Enter the MAC address from the Access Control unit. Again, here we are going to copy the MAC address from the Akuvox IP scanner. The name for the device. For this, we use the DTMF code 9, so that we have the DTMF code 8 for the front door and 9 for the back door, or any other door you like to control. Again, we need to wait a bit till the access control unit comes online. Now we have all the devices online for the demo project. A total of four family members can be added if necessary. Any extra family will cost six euros a month. Click on the family icon to enter. Now click on new. Enter the name and the email address of the new family member so that the person will receive the instructions, username and password in the email. Select the country. The phone numbers are optional. Then submit. Now that the new family member is added, the user will receive the instructions in the mail. Let's open the email for the instructions. The new member can download here the Akuvox Smart Plus app and scan the OR code in the app or use the email address and the password to log in. Thanks for watching.
and see you in the next video.